Simon, Akuri, Bertelli, thank you very much for having MTDCNC on site today. What a fantastic company with so much heritage. Can you tell our audience a little bit about the company and how it started? Uh, yes, so uh, the company, we, uh, we specialise in uh, pre-war Aston Martins, anything from restoring service work um, and, and event support, such as racing and rallying. Um, the company started... Uh, 40 odd years ago, and it was started by uh, Nick Mason, um, who you might know as the, the drummer from Pink Floyd. He's mad into his cars, and he, he started this because he has a, a passion for pre war Aston Martins, and uh, that, that's where the company started p providing a service to keep these cars on the road. So you're actually making the parts, fitting the parts, and racing the cars, is that correct? Yes, yeah, uh, here at Akira Tell you have to make all our own parts uh, in house, most of them anyway. And, um, and, and then we'll fit them to the car and then we'll check it out, test it, and then hopefully it, it holds itself together at the race event. Yeah. You're a very lucky man and uh, I'm sure a lot of people would love your job. Now let, let's start on kind of the machining really, you know. Yep. You started on manual machines, is that correct? Yes, most of the parts we're making on, on manual mills and lathes. Some of it had to be outsourced because it had to be to an accurate tolerance, which we couldn't quite produce on a, on a manual machine. And yeah, that, that really brings me on to, to your, your investment in the Haas TM2P, really. Mm -hmm. you know, why did you, firstly, why did you invest in this machine tool? Uh, we wanted to go see and see it so we could have uh, accurate and repeatable parts. Um, with, with the older cars, it's, you have to spend a lot of time fettling parts to be able to get them to fit together. So we went with the CNC route so that we could eventually get to a point where all the parts will just fit together without having to fettle them and, and, and they'd be accurate. So is this machine tool giving you the repeatability and the accuracy that you were yeah. looking for? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's, it's making sure that we're only doing a small batch work of about 10 parts every time, um, but it's being able to make sure that each time they come off, they're all the same and they're accurate to the drawing that, that we're doing them to. And quite importantly, really, you know, I started on the manual machines and, and then moved on to CNCs. How did you find the transition from manual to CNC, especially with the programming side? Mm -hmm. um, it was a steep learning curve, I must admit. Um, but once I got, got hang of doing the, the Autodesk, the, the CAD stuff, um, I was able to start using the machine especially with we had a couple of days training with Haas when we bought the machine and from then on I've been able to produce parts. And the Haas control you, you get into grips with that is very user friendly? Well, yeah 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 very user friendly I, you know there's clear buttons that, that allow me to be able to get into tool offsets etc to, to work out what to do. So yes. Simon now you're actually manufacturing the parts yourself on the, on the, the CNC yeah. mill? Yeah yeah I, I take a drawing an, an original factory drawing, which is from the 30s, um, and convert that into, make a model on CAD, uh, produce me tool paths, and, and load it up in the machine, and, and make a part. And Simon, you know, how have Haas supported you on this journey? Oh, uh, greatly. If, if we ever have a problem, as I say, we're learning, it's a big transition. W whenever we've got an issue or a problem, we just give them a call straight away, and there's, there's always someone on the other end of the phone, or or they come down and see us if we really need to. So, yeah, that's been great. And this machine tool, has it been a success and would you look to buy more? Oh, yes, it's been a success. Um, so much so that a lathe <laughs> would benefit us for, for, for turning parts. Uh, we manage to produce parts on here well, so we are thinking about getting a lathe, a CNC lathe, yeah. Where does this machine tool position itself within your range? Well, it's a machine that is very easy to transition to from manual machines so a lot of our customers do use this as their first experience on the CNC road it's an affordable machine but a full CNC piece of technology so TM2P stands for tool room mill 2 and the P stands for production production gives you a fully automatic tool changer with 20 tools in 2 is purely the size so we now have a range from TM0 uh, which gives you 500 in X, all the way up to TM3, which gives you 1,000 in X. Uh, this particular one is also 1,000 in X, but slightly compromised on the Y. It's a 7.5 horsepower belt-driven spindle, but 6,000 RPM. It's 40 taper, so it's a proper grown-up 
milling machine and you get an awful lot of bang for your buck and of course it's Haas so it's a Haas control it's exactly the same as every other Haas that we have certainly lots of capability and I noticed the four axis rotary table that's been added on to this machine tool how easy is it to add extra features to this machine tool as the company grows it's very easy one of the nice things um, about Haas, we, we, we always look at these machines as you know the life of a Haas. We've got some Haases out there over 30 years old now, and their their life um, evolves as the industry evolves. This is two years old, and within that time, we've as you can see, there's the probing system, there's a fourth axis system, and also up here you'll see there's a, a parameters page here where most of the options are now enabled. Now this control doesn't know that it's on. Uh, a TM, it could be on a VF6 for all it knows, it's enabled things such as macros, rotation and scaling, rigid tapping, spindle orientation, a host of features um, including the high speed machining look ahead which enables us to smooth out the curves when machining in several directions. There's a wireless network enabled um, but also we're able to put later, should we need to upgrade further, we can put through spindle coolant to the machine, fifth axis, we could even put custom rotaries. So uh, there's, there's an awful lot of kit that we can easily put the parameter onto and sometimes the hardware as well. So yeah, it, it's, it's life began as a fairly easy transition machine from manual, but now it's evolving into a very usable CNC. And, you know, they are looking to buy another machine tool already. How does it continuously evolve within um, a business? When, when you kind of, how does the journey with Haas evolve, shall I say, James? It's a lovely way of putting it because uh, you're right. It, it, it's, they found it easy, so it's logical to go to a lathe. It's the same control, so they haven't got that learning curve again. But we found a lot of customers will say to us that, once they've made that transition from manual to CNC, it's easy then to grow out of the machines that they've got. But Haas is a brand you can grow into because essentially at the heart of it, it's the control and it's the upgradable system. So if they wish to evolve to five axis, to horizontal, to multi-axis turning, um, you can grow into the range very, very easily uh, rather than grow out of it and then have to go and start the journey all over again. It, it's a nice journey, well put, journey is a good word.